I just want to create art. I just want to be able to help people find the light through the source. I want them to find the source through art. I just want to fill my belly up until it's too much. My back, my neck. Are you got injured on the job? Not yet, but I definitely am just getting super stiff. Like, really? Yeah, dude. My my limberness, my flexibility has gone down a pretty uh, large amount. That's what happens when you dedicate yourself to being a slave. Yeah, I re- I miss being limber. I'm, I mean, I'm still like flexible compared to the average person, but like I already have lost a lot of like calf flexibility specifically. Because my calves are getting, like, so much work out all day. From running around town, being like, everybody's little bus boy. Yeah, and it's, like, noticeably making my legs sore. And it's just a lot, dude. Being a Teamster is gay, gay as fuck. Being a Teamster, I miss it. I wish I was still a Teamster. I'm a fucking Teamster! I, dude, I, it's like the um, way I imagine all these dudes talk is, I'm a Teamster! And the teams just do what the teams just gotta do. Come to the union meeting. Come to the hall. I never see you around the hall. You know you're a teamster. Dude, I literally, one of the guys went, like, I don't know what they were talking about, but I I think they were talking about a dude who get, like, because they have a thing there that happens where you can get fired, but you're, like, kind of fired. Mm. Like, they let you go, and then they bring you back. <laughs> okay. And, like, this dude, I guess, got fired. I think this is what they were talking about. And then... The guy's, like, talking to the manager, and he's with another dude, and he's just, I'm looking out for my union brother, you know what I mean? You gotta look out for the union brother. I'm just looking out for my union brother, you know, he's a good guy. And then, meanwhile, there's me. Neat bucks, neat bucks, I gotta get my neat bucks. Dude, seriously, I like, I, I walk into the room, and I'm, like, the manager dude wants to talk to me because I have to sign some shit, like, almost every day. Like, what did you learn today? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Dude, they have you sign shit every day. They have so much paperwork for no reason. It's just like, what did you learn? Oh, like you got to use three points of contact when you're going up and down. Whoa. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. That is so true. You do need your three points of contact at all times. Dude, at first I was like, these guys are so annoying telling me to do all this shit. Like, they, they were, like, getting on me about the way that you need to turn the car on and off and, like, how you need to close the door okay. so that way you don't hurt yourself. They're yeah. Like, because they were like, you're going to be closing the door and opening the door a lot, and you want to do it this way because otherwise you're going to hurt yourself. And I was like, you guys are just old and gay. And then, like, three weeks onto the job, I'm like, okay, I think I do need to close the door that way because I'm going to hurt myself. You're like, oh, I hurt myself. Yeah, they're like, when you walk out of the door, you don't want to, like, extend your arm like this and walk out. You want to use the railing because you're going to hurt your shoulder. And then some dude popped his head around the corner. He's like, yeah, two of my guys are on disability right now, and they're both on shoulder injuries. Oh, my God. And I go. Everybody loves just sitting at home, not working, and getting paid for it. They're on disability. This one guy at the chemical plant tore his shoulder up. Oh, dude, I never even told you. The plant manager quit, like, just up and walked out. Shangri? No, 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 that's the real... Oh, the fat bitch. No, 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 There's... First of all, she wasn't fat. She was very... Rubenesque. And... What does that mean? Fat. Oh. <laughs> the, uh... The guy I'm talking about is some dumbass Mexicano guy they brought in that, like... He was the guy that would tell all the truck drivers what deliveries to make and then also go down and bring the batch card of what everybody was going to produce that day. He went, fuck this! He said, fuck this, and just up and left. Was he a Teamster? No, he was nobody there was a Teamster. Only the badass chemical pourers are Teamsters. They never hit me back up, dude. They hired a grease operator! I know. You did? You saw that? They, well, I know they had to have hired somebody by now because they're fucking, like, they're still posting stuff, too. Did they hire a dude? Here's the thing, though. The grease operator, they still... You remember how I told you that's, like, not a position and they're not going to do grease and all that? I was, like, very skeptical. Yeah. They're literally just having him watch the other guys pour chemicals for the next four months until the grease thing is built. So he's got the most boring job in the world. Yeah, and they're paying him $65,000 a year to do it. And does he have experience? Like, why do they choose that guy? I don't know. He's a teamster. Almost. I think. Well, how long is the probationary period for those guys for before they get into the union? Three months. Really? At the, at it's 100 days, maybe. 
At UPS, it's 45 days or 40 days or something. But they make it so you have to have, like, you have to hit certain markers before you can get in. Like, they're like, you need to have five days in a row where you go scratch, which is kind of like a golf, like golf, in terms of golf, like scratch, where you need to get in back from your deliveries either on time or earlier than you were supposed to. Like, Whoa. five days in a row. Which doesn't sound hard, but it's not easy. Like, with the amount that, like, they give you. Because even though I'm new, mm-hmm. they gave me, like, la- yeah, like, last time I worked, they gave me the same amount of stops that they gave to, like, all the other dudes, basically. So I had 170 stops that I needed to get done by, Jeez. like, five or whatever. That's so many. I, dude, it's it's going to get up to 225 in the winter. Cause the You're going to be out there until... Da- uh, fucking dark, dude. dude. Well, it's getting dark so early. I'm getting scared because... The didn't the clock just go back or something? Yeah, and it's still going dark. Like, Wait, when did it go back? I didn't even notice. Um, A couple of days ago. Like, a few days ago. Fuck. I didn't know until somebody handed me... <clears throat> somebody handed me a piece of paper at work, and they were like, the clock's are changing <laughs> Whoa. So we have already lost an hour, so it's going to get dark insanely quick. Dude, it got dark at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I don't really look outside. I like to stay in my cage. <laughs> uh, that sounds nice, actually. Though. I walked downstairs today. I was like, it's cold. What the hell? <laughs> 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 I was like, I thought it was 70 out last time I was out. Dude, it's been 37 degrees in the morning for the, like the last month. Or not month, like two weeks. No, I know. It's been cold. I've been in when you're driving around in that truck, bro, doors are open. You yeah. can close the doors, but it slows you down. The, everything is like a time thing, dude. Like you, you need a lightweight jacket, like a you, like a puffer. They, dude, you can't wear anything unless it's UPS. What if you wear it under, like a lightweight puffer, and you get a bigger size jacket? You could do that. That would work. But they've only given me one uniform, and so I there was like a a um, somebody had a a rain jacket in in my truck because they left it from. Because you don't always drive the same truck. You, mm-hmm. They load up the trucks in the morning. You figure out which route you have, and then you figure out what bay your truck is in. And then you go in there, and it's like, oh, usually a, either... It's usually the same truck, but sometimes it's different. Dude, wait, I just thought of something so funny. What? <laughs> I've got to give you the Brazil package. I was supposed to go to Brazil, and you give it back to them and go, I don't know how I ended up with this, but... It's got your guys' address on it. I think they're supposed to go to Brazil or something. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Especially because it's FedEx. And it'd be like, <laughs> if I got it. <laughs> I don't know. I, it just had your address. It was on my truck. I don't know. I get a lot of Amazon oh. stuff, though. Like, I don't get... I don't think I've gotten any FedEx stuff, but I've gotten a ton of Amazon packages. Like, usually half of my packages, I deliver Amazon. Mm. And the amount of things that are branded with UPS is very few. Like, it's usually just like... Amazon, or it's like, oh, a bunch of plates, like in a box, mm. Costco or wherever. Uh, but what was it? Have you ever thought about putting a prank in one of the boxes, like swapping them out? No, but it is really hard sometimes to keep your eyes from wandering and like wondering. Like it's kind of like shaking a Christmas present sometimes. I'm like, what is in here? <laughs> like it's bad. Like I get kind of nosy. With, I don't open anything or anything like that. You but, just open them sometimes. Well, dude, the amount of boxes I del- once a week I deliver a box of like irons, like golf clubs, like Callaway. Oh, really? Yeah, like almost once a week. Nice. Sometimes it's just one club in there because you it's really light. It might mm-hmm. be like a putter or something. But then other times it's like a, a bunch of pu- like a bunch of clubs, like probably a whole set of irons, and it just says like Callaway on the box, and I'm yeah. like, that's bad. I shouldn't say that because now I want it. It shouldn't. Anything that costs money should not be advertised as such. Yeah, in the box, I agree. Because it's like it's up to me to leave it in a spot where it's supposed to be like less noticeable to the front door. And I just, I'm so busy that I just, as soon as I, they want you to go up and knock on the door. And when you pull up to every house, they want you to honk the horn, ding, ding. And then you get out and then you pull up and then you take a picture of it and you knock on their door and you leave. Mm -hmm. I just pull up and I put it on the thing and I leave. I don't. You don't even knock? No. What the hell? You're supposed to. Yeah. I don't. Most of the time I don't. You'll, You'll figure it out. I gotta go. You'll figure it out. Well, when you take the picture, it does give you like an alert on your phone that like it was delivered. You'll figure it out, jackass. I should probably knock and stuff. I agree. Oh well, sometimes I do knock, but I'll knock like this. Perfect. 
<laughs> yeah, that's but, better. Yeah, I guess. Like sometimes I'll just sometimes my knuckles are hurt because it's cold and I'm like dry, mm-hmm. and then like I've been knocking on doors all day and like picking up packages, and mm-hmm. I'll I'll go to knock, and I'll go like that once, and I'll go like, oh, that kind of hurt. And then I'll just leave. You go. Oh, it's the team still way. Dude, they, they they were, like, telling me about how, yeah, you got to piss in bottles and stuff like this. Like, when you're going, like, there's no, you're not going to stop to go to the bathroom. It's going to fuck up your route. Like, you got to piss in bottles and stuff. So they're telling me to bring, like, wide mouth Gatorade bottles to piss in. What the hell? And so I actually have been pissing in a bottle and, like, just dumping it out and then pissing in it again. <laughs> and, the, and then I was like, this is inhumane. I'm not going to keep pissing in bottles. You're a slave. And so I started, like going outside the truck and like crouching down by the wheel well and pretending like I'm looking to see if the lug nut like something yeah. under the car is okay and I'm just like pissing on the ground like a girl kind of yeah and twice I did that and pissed out my leg oh my god in the same day like within a couple of hours and you just had piss pants I, well, it wasn't like insane it wasn't like a half of a bladder or even a quarter of a bladder but it was like enough to like it was like wet Oh Lord! Jesus. And I, I was like, I pissed myself twice today. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at this UPS job. I keep pissing my pants. No, it's at just it. that's the team's the way. You gotta piss yourself sometimes. You gotta go, go, go. Sometimes you piss on your leg. How much are those guys making? Seventy an hour, dude. They make a uh, two guys in my section. Like, so there's five sections in that building. Mm-hmm. Two guys in my section made one hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars last year. So um, when's that gonna be you? I don't think I'm gonna get the job there. Why not? Because they they the way they hire people is it's five out of every six people that are hired are internally hired, like from the warehouse into being a driver. What the and hell? I'm an outsider. I'm a no. I'm no fucking teamster. You're not in teamsters. I have to. I am a. I had to pay my union dues, but like I'm in it, but not. I don't get the same shit that they get until what we... What the hell? You got scammed. You should be like, what the fuck? Well, I'm paying my union dues. I, I need to be at the job. They tell you if you don't accept the job offer or you don't get a job offer when you're done, you can go back and get a, like a half refund on your union fees. They're scamming you. I know. I don't even know. The union's literally not protecting me in any way. Because I'm like... They're not protecting me in any way. Be- I'm, I am I getting you, benefits, but... I think they just shook you down. I don't even know how much it was for. I didn't ask. I, I'll pay whatever. I do know, however, that um, they they do give you like a lot of benefits there if you get the like job. Like the money there is pretty insane. But I don't think I'm gonna accept it, even if I did get it. Or maybe I would. Like I just couldn't see myself working there for very long because like you don't have any time. And I was trying to explain this to my mom, and she's like, so what? You don't want to work fucking anywhere, huh? You know, just, you just don't want to yeah. work. And I'm like, I'm not saying I don't want to work. I enjoy, like, doing things where I feel accomplished and, like, working in that regard. Oh, shut up. You know, she's literally like. Just shut up and go to work already. I was just like, I don't want to give all of my time to some person oh and make them a God. bunch of money. Yes, when I you could. do. And she was like, well, money's the most important thing. And then I'm just like, what? Like when I like my mom seems like regular and chill normally, but then when I start talking about stuff like that, she like reveals like this other side to her where it's just like it's all about money. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It is all about money, dumbass. God, don't you realize that that's the only truth? And then she had a good idea, which was like, why don't you just get like two part time jobs, and that way you can like choose your hours or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I guess. But then she had a great idea. Which is, I should work at a, as a bartender at a comedy club. Which yeah. is a great idea, actually. Until you get kicked out for fighting in the first six weeks. I've never gotten in a fight. I When I was a bartender, I used to scream at people. You, wait, you weren't a bartender, though. No, I was a bartender, just not there. I'm not a bartender. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hang on, I'm not a bartender. I'm not a bartender. That was actually a necessary thing to wear there, though. Like, I get it out, wearing it outside of the place. It's like, this guy's gay. But when you're there, it's not, it wasn't like a joke. It wasn't like, look, it's not the bartender. It was like, you're constantly behind the bar and you're walking around and then people are like, hey, can I get a drink? And then you don't talk to them because you're busy and then they see your shirt hey, eventually. I am not a bartender. It's a necessary evil, dude. That's yeah, necessary. having two jobs is double gay. It's like having a man in your relationship. 
Like having another man in your relationship? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. Gay as hell. It, well, it's just like if you have two jobs and they're both part-time, you're just having multiple bosses that are going <laughs> to... <Yeah. laughs> you're just making more evil corporations money and paying taxes and it's like, to kill fucking Palestinians. You have to listen to more people and you probably <laughs> are going to get paid less money. Yeah, definitely. So it seems like a worse idea. Um, you know, my buddy was telling me, dude, you got to do HVAC. You got to come work for us. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I was thinking about how I would only make like 500 bucks more a week or a month. Mm-hmm. So like 100 bucks a month or a week extra. Just about 125. 125. 125. And I was thinking everybody in my life would be so much like happier. If you did that. If I did that. And I was like, what the fuck? is wrong with people like like what is wrong with people where they'd rather me have no time kill myself (laughs) and beat the shit out of myself and get yelled at you don't think you're better than them do you that's what it is is it it's that they think that by you doing making a decision like that they're like you think you're better than me or they're jealous it's like a jealousy kind of it's like it's it's like it's kind of like thing too it's like you're I think it's like that their entire life is go to work. Getting flipped upside down. You're trying to change their mind, and they're like, I don't get my mind changed. I would never change my mind. I'm always correct. Yeah, dude, and I'm just trying to talk to them about how the pyramids were made with vibrational frequency. And they go, "Uh, okay, that's cool, but can you turn that into making money somehow? No, actually, I can't. Actually, I refuse to. Well, then it's a waste of time. Even if I It's a waste of time. It's stupid that you're doing that if you can't make a full-time livable wage. Not only just a livable wage, you need to go out there and make an excess of money no matter how it hurts anybody or the world. You need to just keep making more money and stuff in your pockets so that way you can buy a nicer, faster car Mm. and get stupider, uglier, hornier bitch. (laughs) (laughs) You need to wear 10 pounds of makeup. You need a cake. You need a clown. Oh, God. And... And then on top of that, you need to kill her and get another one and then move to a different country and make more money there. People love making their lives more complicated. That's like people's favorite thing to do is be like, how can I make my life way more complicated and confusing? How do I just add more desires in my life? Dude, the goal, the ultimate goal is to merge with the light. And these people are all like, okay, how can I make it so that I completely forget that that exists? How can I how tie d- my identity into as many things? I need to figure out how to spread myself so thin that I'm just constantly running around like, <gasps> what do I got to do next? What do I got to do next? Because if I have to sit and sit with my thoughts for more than five seconds, I'm going to blow my fucking head That'd off. That'd be terrible. That'd be the worst thing ever. Yeah, I think I just want to find a job where it's like maybe they don't make me work like... I was trying to be like, well, maybe it'd be nice to find a job where I get paid as much as I do now, but, like, I maybe work four days a week. Like, that's what I was trying to say. And she yeah. was like, okay, so you want to work four 10-hour shifts. And I'm oh like, no, not God. what I'm saying. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying I want to work the same amount of hours. I want to say I want to work less hours. But four 10s would be better. And that's what I said, too. I was, I was like, okay, you're kind of getting the point, but not really. I was like, yes, that would be better. She's like, you're like, okay, well, you finally stopped eating the dog shit and you're just stepping in it now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you're kind of getting the right idea. And then I was like, well, I'd rather work one day a week. And then she was just like, oh, my God. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? Why is it so hard for you to relate to not wanting to work? She's like, well, you can't work 40 hours in one day. <laughs> I'm working two 20-hour shifts. That would actually be nice. Honestly, that would be way better. Would, wouldn't you do that? Like a, two, some sort of like... Hour, or two 20-hour shifts? Like some sort of security guard overnight job where you just stay awake for two, like a day and then you the next... Like Don't meals. you want a job where you can show up two days and not do anything? Yeah. Yes, I do. Just play More Minecraft. Than anything, yeah. Uh, Wait, uh, maybe we can find a job like that where we just sit in like a security booth and they're like, "Well, we need to hire the both of us because what team? We're the team. We're teamsters. We're teamsters. It's the teams the oh. way." I just imagine these dudes like sit together, and like they did. I ever tell you about how bad these dudes' manners are at the work? Yeah. Did I talk about that? No. No. 
Oh my god. I mean, maybe you're not gonna think that. I think he will think this is insane though. The, I was waiting like outside of this office door because I needed to talk to this dude before I could leave, but they mm-hmm. were having a little meeting. But I didn't know they were having a meeting, so I knocked on the door and nobody opened it and the blinds were closed. So I went, okay, they're probably doing something in there. And then this dude is like standing next to me. He's like pacing around and he's like, I need to talk to somebody in there. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, check if it's open. And I go, I, I just knocked. They're not. And then he, and he pump like kind of bunches, like pushes his way in front of me and starts jiggling the door handle oh and it's locked my God. and it's locked and he's trying to jiggle it and it's not opening. So he's like trying to like, like Oof. knock on the glass and shit. And then eventually they open the door, and there's two people that are right in front of the door having a conversation with each other, and then there's a dude at the front desk that they need to talk to. And they, the p- two people that are in the door having the conversation, he just walks in between them with this piece of paper and is, like, flopping the piece of paper around in front of them without saying anything. And he just kind of, like, scoots through them, and he hands them the paper, and then he, bo- like, goes back out. And then he's just like, I'm out of here. Jeez. And, it, like, and, and then I had another situation where the... Somebody wanted to talk to me to sign some shit, and the guy's like, I'm not waiting for no fucking new guy. Oh I gotta ask you a question. And then he's like, hang on, I just need him to sign this. He's uh, like, I'm not waiting for no fucking new guy. But that's, I mean, that is, that's the union way. That's the Deemster way. I mean, I like that. I agree Anything with that puts you down is good in my book. <laughs> Keeps you honest and in your peg. Keeps you where you belong. Dude, it would be a, a mess if I was the boss there. You would be the worst Teamster leader ever. I would be the You'd worst. You'd be like, you do everything. I don't want to. <laughs> You'd probably gain 300 pounds if you were in charge of the Teamsters just Dude. based off of. I go. <sighs> Family. <laughs> Family. These are my brothers. These are my brothers. Where's the cannolis? Yeah, I start falling asleep. When I wake back up, I go, Did you guys <laughs> Did you guys do everything you're supposed to do? Three points of contact. Jimmy, my brother, he's going to be out for six months. He's not. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's His devastated. rotator cuff's blown out. These he guys- can't do what he loves. He can't work. Dude, they love working. These guys show up, and it's fucking eight in the morning, and they'll just be... Like, Dude, I hate that I have to wake up at 6.45 to start working at 9. That's what pisses me off the most. At 9 is yeah. insane. It, I know. And I have to wake up that early to just... You're so... Dude, Jay are taking advantage of you. I know. Come in early. You don't have to, but you should. I would just stay late and have them pay me the extra hour. I'm considering doing that because... Because if you're not going to stick around anyway for more than three months, who gives a fuck what they think? Yeah, I know. I honestly stood... That was the other reason. I was like, why am I busting my ass so hard to try to get back early? Because they're just either going to reward me by giving me another truck of shit yeah. to do, or they're going to, like, send me... and They're going to either say, okay, you can go home, but you're you're done getting paid. Yeah. Or you can go and do another truckload of shit and go home late. And I'm like, why don't I just give do the shit they give me and just, like, slow down a little? And then just get back late. I know. The only, well, the only reason I don't want to get back late is because I'm trying to balance my life still. I'm trying to, like, still do shit outside of work. But when That's you have so to dumb. drive an hour... Just, just do, to do your job. Dude, when I have to drive an hour to get there and an hour to get back home... Uh-huh. That's fine. You don't need to do anything An eight-hour day turns into a ten-hour day. Actually, more like an eleven-hour day because I'm showing up an hour early. For, like, a dumbass. Not an hour. Not anymore. So not- you're you're spending over eleven hours of your day... At this job, and they only pay you for eight. Yes. What is that? That's a good job. Yes. Duh. Obviously. And now you want time for other things? That's dumb. Dude. Okay, listen, listen. Just go to work. Go to bed. And shut up. Wake up. Shut the fuck up. Clock. That would make everybody in your life so much happier. It would. I don't get it. it, it (laughs) Do you get it? Like, I I actually can't comprehend it. I think it's like a, it's got to come back to some sort of like survival instinct of like, if you're not. You are a shit eating pig. (laughs) So the best, the best you could hope for is that somebody comes along and puts a little bow tie on you and gives you some paper, makes you a respectable young man, oh my God. and spanks you on your pink little hiney, and you're on your way. Dude, I can't. If you're that blessed, 
if you're that blessed that that could happen to you, then that's a successful life. If you could go there every day for the next 50 years and... Well, no, to be fair, these dudes do retire in like 20 years. But I'm not going <laughs> to... Still forever. Well, I mean, to be in a union is cool. A union is cool because those dudes, like, they're kind of like garbage men type job where it's like these dudes get like great pensions great health care yeah and a lot of them are but, retiring soon dude yeah there's a ton of retirements coming up this winter which, which is, is why i was thinking maybe n- next year like in the new year i'll go give that hvac stuff like after i run the few neat bucks checks Mm-mm. but Mm-mm. I, I was thinking about learning more and then going there and asking for what i'm worth because I was a quality control technician. Too. You know, this is a thirty. This is a thirty-five dollar an hour weld. Have you ever seen those? Yeah, 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 I love that. How much do you think this weld's worth? About twenty-five dollars an hour. And he's like, I give you forty dollars an hour. Or there's other ones where he's like, I think it's worth thirty dollars an hour. He's like, I give you no money for this. Get weld. the fuck out of here! <laughs> You're wasting my time, you jamoke. dude. It, people don't under people don't even know about that culture like i tried to make a joke with somebody i tried to try to say the don't fear the teamster by the blue oyster union to somebody else oh and they yeah. went and they went what's a teamster and then i went oh you don't even fucking know That's take my your life. soft ass out of here this is for teamsters 301 my heart i think we're in the 700s uh but yeah yours was 301 i remember because i called the union hall but uh <laughs> Dude, my hands are getting, like, hard, and it's just from boxes, dude. I fucking can't stand grabbing boxes all day. Um, Like, cardboard you need, boxes? You need gloves. I need gloves because car- they make my hands dry, like, really, really dry. I might have gloves that you could use downstairs. I have a pair of the Union U-Line gloves. But it's, like, is it? What, it's the yellow one? ones, the grippies on the hand. What if you wanted some pig skin? Mm. That'll really give you some... That'd be good for the winter. Yeah, and that'd be perfect, actually. <sighs> yeah, but these guys, they, they fucking love working, dude. Though. They love fucking working. It's Everybody's crazy. Everybody's obsessed with working. And the people are more... Obs- more <laughs> As obsessive with working as people are, I feel like their secondary obsession that takes up most of their mental space, because their physical space is working, but their mental space is going, fuck all those motherfuckers who don't work. Yeah, yeah. I'm a working man. Uh, if you're sick, if you're five foot two, four hundred pounds. And yeah, dude. People, these guys just don't. A rich man north of Georgia. It doesn't make sense why people don't get it. Like, my dad, my dad, who works a fuck ton and, like, has always worked a fuck ton the entire time I've, like, been alive, mm-hmm. he gets it more than my mom gets it. Like, when I talk to my dad about it, I'll be like, dude, like, this sucks. And he's like, yeah, like try you. You should get out of this somehow. And but when I talk to my mom about it, who also works a lot, she's just like, "What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're retarded." And I'm just like, "Why? Why do?" And then well, this he, is this is literally what she thinks. I want so many things in the future. How am I gonna get them if he doesn't buy them? She's not even like that, but she is. I guess but she is obviously. But she's not like. But everybody's like that. I know, but like some people, you can visibly see it. Like they buy a lot of expensive shit or whatever. But like my mom doesn't buy stuff for herself ever really. Like they go on vacation type things. Like that's well, a, that's it. That's probably what it is. Is like she'll go somewhere sometimes. I completely disagree when people say that like. You should spend money on experiences rather than stuff. Me. I know this is going to sound like I'm being facetious, but I'm being serious. Like, a nice thing is so much more valuable than, like, a trip. Like, like I could go anywhere I want right now, dude. Like, I could. I could go wherever I want, bro. Up here? Up here. But, like, it's like, do I want to spend $7,000 on a trip to the Bahamas cruise that goes to Disney World and comes back? Whatever, 7000 for a ridiculous two weeks. Or do you want an addition to the house where you can do a bunch of cool shit? I agree. $7,000, you could get a sauna. You can get a sauna. You could get a gym. You could get a archery rent. Whatever you want. Like, whatever you're into. A golf simulator. You're like You could get something so big and cool that just becomes part of your life. 
I think that's the thing, though. Like, when you don't have a shit ton of money, people typically do choose trips over. Beca- but the problem is, it's because they're driving themselves into the ground with how much they work, and they need an experience like that because yeah. they need to, as much as they don't want to admit it, they need to step away from the job a little bit. Dude, the problem is, anytime I ever take a vacation from a job, I can't go back. It's like, I'm done. <laughs> Like, I go back, and I'm like, "Mm, nah. This isn't fucking Cancun. I'm like, this isn't the bachelor party. (laughs) I'm like, wait, I'm not getting wasted here. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go get wasted. No, I I feel the same. That's why I'm so glad this is seasonal, because I'm a-thinking what's gonna happen is they're gonna be like, I'm a-thinking. I'm (laughs) a-thinking. I do think that they like me a lot, and I might... This is going to sound so fucking... You think everybody likes This is going to sound, sound so ant-minded ant and ant-brained. Yeah. But my numbers are really good there. Oh. And I do think that if they had an good opportunity boy. to choose a person who was coming off the street to hire full-time, I think I'm, my name is definitely in the hat. But, that being said, I can't do it. I need to get a design job. Like, I need to just sit around with, like, a bunch of trans people and, like, make fucking, like, paper mache shit. I agree. I honestly think that's my call. (laughs) You just need a special education classroom for adults. (laughs) Dude, seriously, can they pay me to be retarded? (laughs) Why can't they, like, figure out a way to harvest my energy? Dude, do you know what would actually fix all your problems? Yeah. A nice golf swing. Oh, yeah. So true. Yeah, I could golf swing myself into the jaw. That'd be nice. Swing around. Swing and then swing around so hard I club myself in the head. That'd be nice. Oh, my God. Hey, there's got to be a way out, dude. There's got to be a way to just make enough well, money. I we got to move to Austin and work at fucking Joe's Comedy Club. That is true. Honestly, th- there well, is... I've got neat bucks right now, so hold on. Hang on. There's a serious strategy here that we could do, which is get good at comedy... Have two years of comedy under your belt, which is like really not anything, but, but be good. Us. But be really good at it. Yeah. And then you can go, and go and audition to work at the comedy club somewhere in that area. Mm-hmm. And then you're done. No, That's this it. is what we you need stop to do. there. We need to build our own mothership up here. The brothership, the teams, the ship, the union. The Union Hall. The Union Hall. <laughs> that would be a fucking... Hilarious comedy club. Perfect comedy club. Union dude. Hall, you walk in and it's just a big swastika on the wall and it's just people telling black jokes. It's all a bunch of blue collar guys. I saw a couple of women walk in here. Where are they? I want to fucking rape them. <laughs> Will they shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh yeah, these these those guys are like that though. Like I they, I show up and these guys are talking about parlays as soon as I get there. They're talking about I got a thirty leg parlay that hit last week and they go, I took your fucking advice and I lost twenty bucks. You owe me twenty bucks. Oh my lord. All day these guys just talk about betting. Like I there was we were all leaving. The way that the bay works with like so there's t- like fifty cars that are all facing each other and they're all huge trucks. Yeah. And they're like so the people in the front that are closest to the garage door to leave have to leave first, and then it goes, like, this way. Okay. Because if you don't go that way, like, if you're at the end and you try to leave first, you have to, like, go through the tightest space in the yeah, world. Yeah, like, I got It's you. almost impossible to pull out. And, uh... But one badass teamster had it on his mind. No, no, no. Oh. That does happen sometimes, but uh, what happened was it was our turn to leave, and the guy was standing in front of my truck talking to some dude through his door going... You know, I know you're not really big into soccer, but if you were big into soccer, you'd be able to do this parlay. Like, you would start to notice that the soccer is actually a great sport for betting. And then, like, this guy was just trying to convince him to start betting more. On soccer. For no reason. Like, the guy was just like, I know how much I like betting, so you got to start betting with me so we can talk about betting. And I bet on soccer, so you got to b- start betting on soccer. Wow. And it was just like, dude, I'm trying to leave because I've been here since 830 and now it's 9.30. We were supposed to leave at 9, like, 15, and it's mm-hmm. 9.30, and we're late, and you're standing in front of my truck when we should be leaving. Did you tell him to get the fuck out of the way? He left, like, shortly after. No, I don't have any... Dude, I can't say anything to these guys. I know, because they tell you to shut the fuck up, newbie. You just sit around and shut the fuck up, and when somebody with some balls around here walks around and tells you what to do, then you do it. Dude, it's crazy. That's how every jab should be. 
I I love that union way because the union way. Because I play my part, which then forces people to play their part. And once I'm not the bottom guy, then I get to be the fun the top part. dog. Yeah. There was a guy. And he sits next to me a lot in the trucks. Like, his truck is usually right next to mine. Mm-hmm. And all the doors open so you can, like, talk to each It's kind of like you're all, like, seeing each other. Okay. And he goes, uh, he's got a book, and it says dad jokes on the book. Oh, my. And he opens it up, and he's flipping through it, and he's talking to me, and he's going, yeah, make sure you put the chain on the back door of the truck. He's the only dude who ever tells me this. Like, all the people who have been training me and shit never mentioned a chain on the truck. Like, I don't think they give a fuck about it. Yeah. And he's like, one day, one day that back door's gonna pop open, a package is gonna fly out, and you're gonna kill a family in that car. Oh, yeah. You don't wanna be that guy, all right? Did you put your train on today? And I go, not yet. I'll put it on. He goes, go put it on. And he's constantly telling me to put the fucking chain on my truck, and I'm like, dude, fuck off. I'm not gonna... No. You're going to kill somebody. So what I do is I, like, loosely put it on, so as soon as I, like, start driving the truck, it just pops off because I don't want it on. You motherfucker. Well, if you... No, it's annoying having it on, so... You're going to kill somebody, motherfucker. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about because he's reading this dad joke book telling me to put my chain on, and then he closes the book, puts it, like, under his seat, and then he stands up and he goes and, like, talking to the other dude on the other, like, passenger door of his car because I'm at the, his driver door. He's talking through my passenger side. Mm -hmm. And then so he's going looking through the other side and he goes, starts telling him a fucking joke that he just read out of a book. Hey, what's a vampire with big nuts? No, seriously. And then the dude's like, what? I don't know. And he tells him and he goes, ah, you got me. And then the guy just hangs up. And it's like, (laughs) dude's not even funny enough to like tell him a joke or a story. He just read something, put it away and then told him it like as if he came up i don't know what the fuck his deal was it was like weird like That's i guess how people think of jokes dude i never really understood what joke book I, I always looked at jokes books as a thing when i was a kid like oh this is gonna i'm gonna read this and this is gonna like it's make, gonna make me, me laugh, laugh and yeah. then i'm gonna be able to like understand how they wrote it but i think the way that you're supposed to use joke books like i think to re- steal them i think you're supposed to just steal them and tell That's them to insane. people i would never I would never steal a joke from a joke book. Dude, I'm pretty sure that's like most people's way of telling jokes is this a stolen is most, joke. This is most people's way of telling a joke. Uh, I was at work until 5 o'clock. Uh, that's why they call it overtime. Because I went over my time. Dude. <sighs> No, yeah, but people, if so, because I love working so much. If you, there's days, uh, because I got to go to work. Say your schedule is from Tuesday to Saturday, right? And they call you and they say, Hey, can you come work on Monday, please? I know you don't work on Mondays, but if you work on Monday, that would be nice. You'll be a good boy. (laughs) And if you go and work on a Monday, you get double time the whole day. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. But so that means because the union dudes, so the union guys who have been there for five years all get paid like $50 an hour. Mm -hmm. Meaning if they get called in on a a double day like that, they are making $100 an hour. Yeah. Which is insane. Well, they want to make sure the job gets done right. Dude, $100 an hour to deliver packages is kind of insane. Mmm... I mean, think about how much each person paid every single package, and you have 170. No, no, you have 170 stops. You have, like, 250 packages. Okay, and each one cost minimum 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Like, some of them are insane. Like, some are, like, 60 bucks. I delivered a bunch of shit to an Apple store the other day. And you took some? No, I would, dude. The way that Apple Apple's got that shit on lock, yeah. Dude. It was like in a big green Tupperware container with like a zip tie on it, and then the zip tie had like a tag on it. Yeah, with a number on and it. And it was like, oh, if you open this, it's gonna like do something, like or not, maybe not. But like, I've heard that Apple stores have a thing where if like black people go and steal a bunch of shit from there, like mm-hmm. they loot it, then it like has a, I don't know, <laughs> not specifically black people. No, I don't. You know they only it. turn it on when they do it. I'm just saying. I, Look at, you know, when it happens, it's not a lot of white guys in there. It's only those. 
I'm turning into a team star. I'm sorry. It's, I'm a union brother. That's what they taught me. They but, taught me the black man steal. All right, let's just say okay, okay, a white guy to a white guy goes in there and steals, right? How would that even happen? It's funny because I was just telling a story to my girlfriend like yesterday about how I stole something from an Apple store. But the so let's just say people go in and they start looting. But you're not white. Uh, but there will be a message that pops up on the phone or the iPad or whatever that says like, we basically something along the lines of like we know you stole this like it's, yeah turn it give it back because they're like we know where it is mm-hmm. or we're gonna you know it's yeah. not gonna work it's not gonna work and they know where it is and they know which model yeah it exactly is. so it's but there's certain things that don't do that like a you know maybe like a wireless battery pack or something like that I don't know those don't do that. I hope that Israel and Palestine can find true peace. I hope they kiss and make up, too. I hope they fill each other's uh, gay asses up. I hope the prime minister or whatever, the president of both countries, can just receive each other's high loads in their asses and just make love and have gay sex in the Gaza Strip and just make up already. Dude, I know we talked about this last episode, but I could not care less. I could not care less. I just hope that they have gay love together. I I, I hope they're able to flourish through each other's pink roses ew. and just spew nice warm loads out of ew. their ass into their mouths. Oh, gay. Yeah, they love doing gay shit. I don't think those guys like gay shit. I don't think they... It's like the dude, the Hamas is fucking the Jew in the ass. And going, Aluak ba, and the Jewish guys go, oh, oh, they they fill me up, oh, I'm, I'm filled up, oh, spit in my face. I was watching a documentary last night about, um, not come in this holy land. It was about uh in Israel. It was just about like uh artifacts and sh- it wasn't a documentary. It was closer to like ancient aliens. So basically a documentary. <laughs> yeah. But it was like uh, about relics and shit and how where they thought like the 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 Ark of the Covenant went and like this and that. Which basically everybody claims to have the Ark of the Covenant Covenant, which is weird. Like they think it's in Ethiopia right now, but um, there's. In Israel, I didn't realize how crazy of a important place that is to, like, every major religion. Yeah, it's the Holy Land. Like, for Muslims, for Jews, for Christians, like, it's, for those three, it's, like, the place. And there's, like, a bunch of Jews there, there's a bunch of Muslims there, there's a bunch of Christians there all the time. Yeah. And they're all, like, going to their spe- separate little spots, and they're like, this is the fucking spot. And then the other guy's like, this is the spot. Well, hopefully those fucking Nazis <clears throat> will get... Like, fall into line and give it back to the Jewish people. Yeah. It was stolen from them so many millennia ago. It's the only right thing to do. It's like the first mosque ever or something was there. That's what that big golden dome is in Israel. Like, that golden roof. Mm Mm-hmm. Or in in Jerusalem. That's a mosque. And then there's, like, the Wailing Wall, which is, like, Jew shit. But I don't even know what the Wailing Wall is, like, referring to. Maybe I didn't get to that part, or maybe I skipped over that in the Bible. But I remember Trump went there and was sucking his dick on the wall. Like, like there was a glory hole. And Dude, when you see them pray at the Wailing Wall, they go like this. They go like... like they're, like, rocking doing. back and forth. It's weird. I, I think that this should just be a really bad thing that happens to all the Jewish people. I think that... Probably is something that will happen eventually. Like maybe just karma corrects everything and just. Can you imagine if all of Israel just blew up like from the inside out? Or like they blew themselves up like the Iron Dome, all the energy that. <laughs> like f- the earth. Like, oh, like zit, the earth like sucked them up. Like, like a, a zip popping. Like it just went. Pfft, like Like imagine. Or Jewish hell, like where they don't believe in hell, but it's just like a big hole in the ground opens up and like sucks them in. Jewish hell is just a bunch of people helping each other out for free without making any money off of them. <laughs> dude, it's such a sin. dude. It, it loans are a sin. I know. And then the Jews are just like, what? What are you talking about? That only applies to other Jews or something. That uh, you can scam the goyim as much as you want. The goy, goy burger. Dude, I'm so hungry. You want a goy burger? 
<laughs> what are you gonna eat? What are you What are you gonna have for dinner? Nothing good, dude. I've been eating like shit. No, this last week I've ate so bad. It's in look. I I've ate like three whole bags of chips. Mm. Like. A whole personal pizza. Yum. That sounds good. Well, it's personal. A double quarter pounder meal. Ooh. So you have donuts. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. I've actually had donuts recently. They were so good, dude. Fall donuts are the best. I know. Yeah, they were pretty good. I have. I. I it, it's been my worst week in a while. I mean, there was a while where I was eating like this week for a whole month. I had vanilla ice cream and apple pie last night. I had ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> It's like unbelievable. Um, I haven't been eating like that, but what I mean by what I've been eating bad is I've been eating like vending machine food for like the last two weeks. Nice. Like I, you don't have time to even take a fucking lunch, like because you don't get paid to take lunch. So it's like, why am I gonna take a lunch if I'm not getting paid? So I'm eating on the clock, but you can't like they know how long you've been stopped and shit. So it's like you have numbers that you have to try to keep up. Because they, like, want to see your performance or whatever. I don't even know why I fucking care. I don't plan on staying there. I know. That's what I don't get Because I like games, and they kind of gamify it, and it, like, makes you feel retarded. It just makes you feel like a good boy when you go to work and do do what you're supposed to. (sighs) I think you're right. But I will say that it's nice to race against yourself. I do like the idea of, like, racing against yourself. Yeah, you're racing against yourself. And I get rewarded by getting paid less if I'm in faster. I know. That's that's the part that doesn't make sense. You're rushing for all that. And it's not like... Those other dudes get rewards for if they finish early. I know. But I you're not them. No, I'm not. You're a little worthless piece of shit. And you're acting like you're all high and mighty. You're going to get your ass kicked over there by some Teamsters. They couldn't kick me. Dude, there's only a couple guys there that could kick my ass. They'd hold you down and do whatever they wanted, do you? Yeah, if they teamed up like Teamsters. They if, could, they, if they Teamstered up on me. They'll show you some brotherly love, dude. <laughs> uh, they, it, it's fucking crazy there, dude. Like, the, it, it's... Wait, what was I saying? Oh, I've been... You eating. were saying that you're scared of going up on stage because everybody there is going to be like... Aren't you supposed to be at work right now? I'm not scared. At this point, I really, really want to. It's just like, when am I going to? I need to, like, go when I'm not. Dude, it's like Tuesday nights are the only one I know about right now that, like, makes sense. Mm-hmm. On Tuesdays, I get off of work at, like, 6 o'clock, and then I have to drive home an hour, so I have, like, 30 minutes, and it's like I'm tired. I don't know. <laughs> You know what I mean, dude? I'm like, and then I gotta go to work the next day. <laughs> dude, seriously, it's like they're making. I agree. I've been writing a lot though. Like I'm, I'm almost ready. I'm like pretty close to being ready with a set. Less more than me. I so go up there and do ninety seconds and go. Thanks for your time. Just try to do two minutes. I've, I've got like five minutes for sure. If I just go up if and talk about like what I hate. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go boom. You guys ever had fucking dinner before? Woo! You like dinner? Oh, what you have for dinner? What you have for dinner? What you have for dinner? Hey, this ugly ass lady up in the front. What you have for dinner? I had, I had a fucking beef sandwich. With some you look like a beef sandwich. Fuck out of here. Oh, God, oh. We should go up and try to pretend to be dice clay, dude. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. I like how Dice Clay was just being, like, a wop, and, like, that's my routine. Yeah, my routine is to be a retarded person. I hate, dude. I watched a lot of comedy growing up. My dad showed me, like, yeah. comedy specials. And, I, you know, some classic hilarious ones like Chris Rock and all the, you know, Eddie Murphy, obviously. Yeah. Dice Clay doing his lullaby things. So retarded. Did not hit at all. It must. It's just got to be a, like one of those things where it's like, because everybody gets into it and like everybody knows about it. So <laughs> like, hickory dickory dog, suck on my fucking cock or whatever. I was like, this is not even funny. It's not. It's not funny. It's. Dude. But then again, when I was a kid, I thought. Uh, Skippity toilet. <laughs> Jeff Dunham was funny. Yeah, that's true. But like he, honestly, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. But he did, in my opinion, have things when I was younger. Silence, I kill. Oh, you. okay. That's actually now looking back at it, very cringe. Silence, I kill. I did you. like that it was racist though. Yeah, 
That's true. Anything that involves racism is so. <laughs> he should in my have book. a Jew puppet. <laughs> just oh, a, this just hand a giant inside nose. Of me is so cold. It's just a big nose. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta. I, I gotta get like a job where I'm doing design, though. I think that would be the thing where I can like actually fucking chill and do something art related and not. Well, I've got 7,000 years to figure out what I need to do. True. Yeah? Are you freezing time? Are you going into the... Are you going full... Well, the year 9,999, that's when I stopped getting gumnin chicks. You go into the halls of Amenti, dude? Oh, I'm in the halls of the Goon Cave. The Goon Cave. Goon oh, I'm cave, so goon hungry, cave, I'm going to pig goon out, cave. dude, as soon as you... What are you going to get? I don't know. Do you think he's because you gaped your belly all week, and now it's I, like... I'm gaped, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. And then I drank a bunch of water, so it kind of, like, cleared me out a little, and now <clears> I'm really <throat> gaped. Yeah, dude. I, I, uh... My cardio was fucking horrible today, and I think it's just because I've been eating bad. Like... I need to eat worse. And I haven't been going to the gym as much... But I've been working out. And you haven't even been playing Frolf. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what really gets you strong. That is what really makes you a winner. What's that stupid bitch up to? <laughs> I was talking about Looper. Oh, okay. But I went with him. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I went with him and uh, Nigtron. Oh, okay. And uh, we were out there hooping and whatnot. Um, How is he? Is he still going, that's type crazy? It's crazy that we're alive? <laughs> I forgot about that, that he did all that. <laughs> I thought it was crazy that he was the lightest type one crazy. there. Yeah. Like, what? S- complexion-wise. Oh, I thought you meant, like, weight-wise. Oh, weight-wise he was also. Oh. Oh. But that doesn't surprise me. They also suck. Yeah. I'm like... 500 times better. Not 500 times better, but, like, I literally just show up and throw it. And Well, you're not... Dude, they're probably overthinking it. I think they are overthinking it. They're, like, trying way too hard to do... Sometimes they'll throw one that looks good, and then it'll start, like, doing what it's supposed to. And then they'll, they'll like, their brain will zap it. <laughs> into like the, They'll go, I'm gonna fuck it up somehow. It's like... But then other times they'll, like, throw it right, like, I'm not joking. Like, let's pretend it goes 100 feet forward from what I'm looking at. Yeah. They'll hit a tree that's, like, right at that window. Oh. What? Like, I'm like, come almost. Like, throw it that way. Yeah. Uh, my, mine tends to curve off a little when I throw. But, uh, you know, I don't really do all that shit that much. You yeah. Know, well, I just go up there and I. Like, you know what you should do instead of gaping your belly today? What? You should just take, like, seven grams of mushrooms. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that, just, that would be way better. It probably would be. That I would, would make th- me want to eat even more, though. I've been considering of ta- doing a pretty heavy trip. Or not trip, but, like, I've been considering doing a big dose. Hell uh, yeah. Soon-ish. I got to find a time where I'm not fucking working. But of the... of The, uh, the big ones. The yeah. strongies. I was considering him doing like three and a half of the big boys. Try not to kill your stepdad. Try not to kill myself. I'm gonna be in there and going, <gasps> I gotta tear my fucking eyeballs out. No, I've actually been getting better at it. Uh, I gotta shove a Topo Chino on my ass. Ever since I, <laughs> ever since I've started like reading the Bible and reading like all the occult stuff and just like all the other things and meditating more, I does I'm gotten I've gotten a lot better at being scared about stuff. Like, I'm less, way less scared about, like, demons and shit like that. Or, like, evil stuff. Like, it doesn't bother oh, me. Oh, yeah. Because I'm just like, dude, I'm on the light. The light, like, what are you going to do? you going to penetrate my bubble? Good luck. Yeah, good luck, literally. That's, so that's what I've been on. Oh, my God. What? What have you even been doing for the last week? Eating. <laughs> I can't even, like, what have you done? Anything? Eating. Yeah. Posted a lot of books for sale. Made a lot of money, but oh, okay. I hate that shit. Yeah, fuck that. Oh my god, isn't that the worst, dude? That's what I was trying to talk to you about. Is my mom? I'll get home from work. I'll get been a ten hour day, uh, and then she'll go, "How was work? What did you do?" And I'm like, "It sucked." I I know. And then she goes like, "Oh well, don't be like that. Are you gonna be like that? Why don't you just get a different job?" And I'm just like, "Shut the fuck up! Why do you ask?" Then you go, "Everything sucks. Don't you?" Get it? I'm not that pessimistic. Cause she just like doesn't get it that I don't fucking want to work. 
ever. She's like, well, you're not really been happy with. Have you ever been happy with any of the jobs you ever no. worked? No. And then I went, no. And then I went, well, yeah, maybe one, but that I didn't. That's not sustainable. What's wrong? When I was bartending, I would just tr- get super drunk and ride home on my bicycle, like shit faced every night. That was kind of fun because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm doing something illegal. <sighs> Just let me sit here and die already, lady. I just want to create art. I just want to be able to help people find the light through the source. I want them to find the source through art. I just want to fill my belly up until it's too much. I just want to. I want to create art, and I want people to be able to see that art and see the light that's I wanna, inside of that art. I want to take something that's been fried and dip it in something creamy and <laughs> eat it. Uh, I just want to show people the light. I just want them to love each other. I just want to take the whole world and and grow it and have it ascend and have it go into the light because I'm trapped here in an infinite cycle because I have I have decided to give myself to the world and I've decided to stay here and reincarnate on purpose even though I could choose to leave. I stay here because I want to bring people to the light because my mission will never be completed until everybody's at the light. And nope. she's like, go to fucking work. Go to work. I'm like, wow, I just try to... I just try to... You sound gay and I hate you. I'm this like, is- don't you just see the big picture of this whole thing? And she's like... Bah. She's like, oh, you're so gay and stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get fucked. Uh, I'm like, this whole big thing, there's so much more to it. And we're so small. Uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go to London and find some good deck. Where... We're beings of light, and uh, even though we are just a I spark just in the suck flame, back. we're just a spark in the flame. But together, we can be the flame. It. I just want to show you all the way. I just want to show you love and I, love you. and I go pew, and then she goes, ah, bah, bah, bah. "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> no!" I just want to go to England. I got fucked up. <laughs> Yeah. They're going to Ireland, actually. Oh, dude, that'd be sick if we went to go play golf up there. Yeah, they got the nice clubs there. They got the nice place. They got the nice places. Because it's all grass. And retarded people. <sighs> Probably a lot of good caddies over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. I don't care. It doesn't bother me that nobody cares about the same stuff that I care about. We need to do another Big Dan episode over there. Yeah, over in Ireland. No, at your place. We could, you know, what we could do is get him to. We could go to his place and we could film in his apartment. Really? Is he? Where is he? He's at school. He's like three hours from here. <laughs> and Normal? He could, or yeah, yeah, yeah. And he could take us to the. Remember, How old is that dude? Dude, he said he was gonna take us. Remember to the VIP section of the. Oh, the dude, that would be sick. Actually, if we did that, like on a Sunday. Yeah, well, on a Sunday when it's like nobody's there. Sunday, nobody would be there. At the club? Yeah, it's Sunday. Or Friday. Oh, I forgot. Pussies still go to work. I don't do that. No, they gotta go to school. What the hell? Yeah. He, no, but he's, I think he's doing well, but, like, every time I've messaged him, he's like, I just go, like, yo, what's up? How's classes? And he goes, good. And I go, like, you passing? And he goes, yeah. And then I go, all right, cool. But, yeah. like, I don't believe him. I feel like he's Who's saying. Who's he living with over there? Strangers. He, dude, he doesn't have. He leaves. For he shows up and then he quits for a semester and then he comes back and he moves back in and then it's like different people there. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He's like a fucking ghoul. It's so, I, we- so I can just go to like a college campus and be like, "Hey, can I run out with you guys?" Yeah, he would love that. Or oh, and it's cheap over there, dude. Yeah, I'm saying it'd be like four hundred bucks. Yeah, or you could get a really nice place for six hundred bucks. <laughs> My gumming and money would be stretched out. Duh. It'd be so funny if in like 10 months from now I'm still getting it and I just keep getting it. You could get it. Well, let's hope. Well, you will. That's true. How many times do you have to call him? Or you just have to claim Once it? Once every two weeks. But I don't even have to call him. I just do it online. Can I get it? Do I have to not have a job? Uh, Maybe or- once this lease is up and... <clears throat> do you have to get fired? Yeah. Hmm. You can't just get quit and get it? Oh, but since yours is seasonal, maybe you'll be able to get it. Like, hey, I stopped working. I'm looking for a job. I'm looking. It's fucking odd. Well, do they know possible. if you have a job, or do you go to jail if you do that? 
Like, what if I want to just, like, work as, like, a waiter? And then, like, I do... That's why we need to just do shit for cash. Yeah, we got to start flipping fucking copper pipes and shit. We need to start doing give, giving people tattoos. Oh, my God, dude. If we That is a cash-only business. And we could do it traveling. <laughs> because we spent $400 on the rechargeable batteries. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> We could tr- we could travel and do tattoos at the same time, like on a plane or on, on a bus. <laughs> yeah, you I was thinking a more like bus? we can just do it in their living room, but yeah, but it would be illegal. But we could. Uh, Why would that be illegal? You would have to have a lot of certificates if you wanted it to be legal. Like what? Like like um. What about I'm the Big Daddy Gorilla Dick certification? Yeah, you could just hit him with this. You the could Big Daddy Gorilla Dick. You could say, "Listen, chill out." And then they go, all right. You go, how much is that? And you're going to tell them after you've already done the tattoo how much it costs. Seven fifty. They go, what? They go, it's already on you, motherfucker. You're going to pay up. And they go, what you going to fucking do? What you going to do, motherfucker? What you going to do? I'm a teamster. I'm going to get a teamster tattoo. Oh, do you think how many people have teamster tattoos? Oh, my God. I couldn't even imagine the amount of cringe that some people would have. Can like, we Google? I'm going to Google that really quick. Teamster tattoos? Yeah, just to see. I, I imagine that people have, like, teamster 30. You're going to see a bunch of teamster 301s. Oh, my, my delivery is arriving tomorrow. I can have my delivery arrive tomorrow. Guess Teamsters, what strength and unity, brotherhood. Oh, my God. Local 728. That's you. Probably. probably. Teams. Oh, my God. Oh my this God. one is crazy. The back one? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm looking at right now. That's insane. I'm going to screenshot that. That'll be part of our thumbnail. That is mentally ill. What the fuck? What is wrong with these people? Hey, if she celebrates Halloween, she's a hoe. I yeah, that's true. Any woman who goes and does Halloween is a, a slut. What the fuck? What was that? Hmm? What was that noise? Oh, it was one noise. I heard a scary noise. Oh my god. Right. You guys wouldn't know shit about that. No, they're scared in the past. Listen, we're all about the present moment. I am so present here with you today. In the present is where we stay. It's a gift from up above. Lord Jesus, thank you so much.